welcome back again to another DCS A10C tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to be going over the various uh, sensors in the aircraft. So I'm going to start with explaining the concept of sensors in the A10C view. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what sensors you have available to you, and I'm going to tell you how to manipulate them with something called sensor of interest. Um, so let's get started. Um, you'll see I have a various a, or fairly varied loadout on the jet right now. I've got uh, two different types of Mavericks. Uh, I have two different types of uh, guided bombs. Um, the, the laser guided bombs are on the fuselage hardpoint and you can't really see them. I also have a targeting pod on the right wing and a rocket pod on the left wing. Um, the Mavericks and the targeting pod are going to be able to feed us uh, information from the outside world and we can use that um, with our various sensors in the aircraft to get an idea of uh, where a target is, um, use that information to find a target, uh, find and designate a target, and uh, ultimately fire a missile or drop a bomb. So, let's get into the pit. So, the three main sensors on the A10C are the HUD and the two MFDs. Now, when they are referred to as sensors, um, it's basically saying that these uh, pieces of equipment can give you information about the outside world, and they can also interact in a way with the, uh, with the outside world to allow you to designate a target or designate a reference point or uh, whatever else you need to do to facilitate uh, whatever task that you're trying to do, whether it be navigation um, or weapons employment. So, um, the basic idea is that you have three selectable sensors in the A-10 and you can switch between those three uh, to make them active. And so whatever active sensor you have set um, will be the sensor that you'll be able to manipulate at any at that particular moment in time. So to manipulate, you know, your HUD and use that and its information and capabilities as a targeting device or a navigation device or whatever, you would select that as your active sensor or sensor of interest. Um, the term sensor of interest basically it's it's fairly self-explanatory. It is the sensor that you are interested in. It's it's the sensor that the plane is currently using as its active sensor, and um, subsequently you were using to um, to manipulate whatever data you need to uh, to manipulate at the time. So, for an example, we'll start. Well, I'll explain sensor of interest in a little bit more depth here and how to manipulate it right now. So, sensor of interest or SOI. Um, again, it's the selected sensor, the selected and active sensor, and again, they, you have the three different sensors, so you can select your HUD or your two MFDs. And the way we select sensors in the A10C is with the coolie hat switch on the throttle. Um, so if you have a joystick and you have the room to map it, um, I would definitely map a coolie hat to a uh, hat switch. If you don't have the room to map it, or you're playing with a controller or a keyboard and mouse, um, or whatever other type of controller you may be using, uh, the keyboard commands for the coolie hat switch are U, H, J, and K. Um, so I'll, as I go through and explain this, I'll try and remember to give you the keyboard commands as well. Alright, so currently we have our HUD selected as a sensor of interest, and that's by default. You, whenever you start in the jet, the HUD starts as sensor of interest. So we'll zoom in on the HUD here, and I'll explain to you how we can tell. So, now that we're looking at the HUD, um, if we look to the left of our uh, attitude indications here in the center, the adult, uh, pitch and roll ladder here, you'll see our air speed indication to the left, and just directly below that, you'll see a small asterisk. And that asterisk is indicating that our HUD is currently SOI, or sensor of interest. That means we can manipulate 
the HUD and its different um, pieces of information with our hands-on throttle and stick uh, controls or HOTAS controls. Uh, remember in the HOTAS tutorial, which you probably watched before this one, um, if not, I would definitely recommend watching that. If you remember in that video, I told you guys about the different switches on your stick, like the target management switch and the data management switch, um, as well as the uh, China hat switch and the boat switch. Those are your main uh, methods of interacting with a currently uh, a sensor that's currently set as sensor of interest. Uh, for example, on the HUD, since it is sensor of interest right now, if I DMS or data management switch up or down, you'll see that I am cycling through my active steer point. So currently I am, if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the HUD, I am on my initial position steer point, which is where I started this mission, which is right here on the runway. Um, and then I can cycle through steer points 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and it looks like there's only 5 steer points for this mission. And I can also, if I go DMS left and right, cycle through my different weapons profiles. You'll see the ma uh, master mode changing in the center of the HUD there, and you can see on the left hand side uh, the different weapons profiles. So, like I said, um, you have this sensor set as sensor of interest, and you can use your stick to manipulate your sen your different data within that sensor. Um, so now, say we are done with the HUD, and we now need to uh, use the TAD as our current as our uh, active sensor. So we'll come down and look at the TAD. Actually, we'll do this zoomed out first. So I'm going to now set the TAD as sensor of interest. And you'll notice on the TAD here, there's a big white box on the bottom that says not SOI. That means not currently sensor of interest. So that's telling you if you're trying to manipulate data on your TAD right now, it's not working because it's not set as the sensor of interest. You'll see the same set on the Maverick or the TGP on the right MFT. So the uh, the idea here is that we need to switch to the TAD to make it our active sensor or sensors, sensor of interest. And like I said, we use the Cooley hat switch to do so. Um, the commands for switching sensor of interest are pretty straightforward and logical. Uh, to switch to your MFDs, it is a long press left or right. So if I wanted to switch to my left MFD and make my TAD the sensor of interest, I do a long press left on a coolie hat. Uh, the keyboard command for that is J. Or, I'm sorry, it's not J, it's H. So, <laughs> if you need a, a left, or, or to set your left MFD as a sensor of interest on the keyboard, you do a long press H. And if I wanted to set my TGP, or my Maverick, or if I wanted to set my right MFD to sensor of interest, um, I would push right coolie hat long or K on the keyboard long, long press K. So let's turn our TGP on and I'll do a long press le uh, right on the coolie hat and you'll see that it is switched to sensor of interest. You can see now that soy or not soy has come back up on the tad and you can see that the TGP has been selected, it has a box around it, that's how you know the, one of the MFDs is a uh, is a sensor of interest, is it'll have a box drawn around it and the not SOI uh, indication will be gone. So let's go back to the TAD and Cooley Hat left long and that sets that as a SOI. And now you'll see I can mess with, if I look at my HUD, you'll see first of all that the asterisk is gone because this the HUD is no longer a soy. And I can punch my, look down here at the stick, I can punch my DMS button up and down, and you'll see I'll keep pushing it, and it's not changing my steer point anymore, because we're currently not using that sensor as the sensor of interest. We're using the TAD as the sensor of interest. So, 
Now, any uh, HOTAS inputs we do with the switches that will interact with the sensor, like the TMS or the DMS or the China Hat, will uh, be applied to the TAD because the TAD is currently sensor of interest. So DMS up and down, zoom the map, uh, left and right do a couple of other functions like turn on your speed, um, and then China Hat and Boat Switch will do both do other um, other functions as well, which are something that I'm not going to go over right now because it's beyond the scope of this tutorial. I'll do that in the individual TAD tutorial. But you'll see the the idea I want to show you is that we are now manipulating the TAD uh, as the active sensor. So now let's say we want to use the TGP. Um, what we would do would press uh, China, or excuse me, Cooley Hat right long, and you'll see the box comes up around the TGP or the right MFD, and the not SOI indication is gone. So now we can proceed to use our stick to or our Hotas controls to uh, manipulate this sensor. So I can use my slew control to slew the TGP camera around. I can use my DMS up and down to zoom in and out. I can use my China hat to change the field of view or bore sight the camera or do a few other functions. Again, anything beyond that's beyond the scope of this tutorial, but you'll see that I'm able to manipulate this sensor with uh, with my controls because it is sensor of interest. So that's basically the concept of sensor of interest. And the big differentiation I want to make, or the big point that I want you to take away from sensor of interest, um, beyond the fact that is how you, it, it is the way that you manipulate your sensors, is that when it comes to the two MFDs, it is not necessarily the piece of equipment you're using that you're setting as soy. For example, the TGP, or the Mavericks, or the TAD. It is just the MFD and whatever is happen it happens to be displayed on that particular MFD at that time. So it does you know it doesn't matter what side you have a particular sensor input on like the TGP or a Maverick or whatever it would just you would just select whatever uh MFD that uh you need to to manipulate that um, that particular sensor, so like the the point I'm trying to make is like the TAD doesn't necessarily always have to be on the left MFD. Like I can swap the MFDs around right now. Um, so now the TADs are the TADs over here, and the TGP and the Mavericks. I keep mentioning the Maverick because it's another sensor you can set as sensor of interest. Um, It's, you're selecting the MFD, you're not selecting the sensor. So you'll see I can set the TGP as soy over here because currently it is not soy. So I'll China hat, or excuse me, coolie hat left long. Now you'll see that I'm uh, soy with the TGP. Now if I switch to the Maverick page, it's gonna, well, it's gonna not because I don't have the plane armed up. So, okay, let's try that again. So we have the the ta or the, excuse me the TGP set as soy, and or we excuse me we have the left MFD set as soy and the TGP currently displayed. And we switch to the Maverick page and it is stayed soy because we're not necessarily selecting the TGP or the Mav individually. We're just selecting the MFD. So it it's not a really important thing to 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 like grasp, but it can be confusing for some people. Um, once you play around with it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about if, if I'm totally confusing you right now. Um, it's kind of a hard concept to to understand. It's just, uh, just keep in mind that you're selecting the MFD and not necessarily the data within the MFD. But you are manipulating that particular sensor once you have it set as soy. So, you know, I can now move the, because the Maverick is set as soy, I can move the Maverick Seeker head around and do different things. I can switch to the TGP and now I can move the TGP around. 
notice how I didn't have to change soy because it's on the same MFD. But if I wanted to mess around with my dad, I'd have to swap it over with Cooley Hat right long, and now I can manipulate my tad with my Hotas. Um, the last thing I want to explain to you guys is the how to set your HUD as soy again once you have uh, moved soy from to a different sensor. Um, it, the command for resetting your HUD as soy is Cooley Hat up short. So you just push Cooley Hat up momentarily, or U on your keyboard, so you just tap U and you'll see the uh, M, uh, the little asterisk has come back and we can now switch our steer points change our weapons profiles slew our little target designation cursor around you see that little box moving around up there um, and use that as our active sensor so that basically covers uh, basic sensor, sensor interaction um, again the main points to take away from this is you are only able to um, actively manipulate one sensor at a time um, and you have to switch between those different sensors with Cooley Hat um, so it would be left or right long presses on the Cooley Hat for the left or right MFD respectively and a short up on the Cooley Hat to return to um, the HUD as soy and the indications are the asterisk on the hood or a surrounding box on the MFDs. So left MFD soy, right MFD soy. And really shortly here, as soon as I zoom back in, coolie hat up short and hood is now soy. So that covers um, the concept of sensor of interest. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comment section of the video and I will try and answer them as soon as possible. Um, and if you do like these tutorials, please like the videos, please leave your comments and, and, and your feedback because I'd, I'd love to hear it. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know that you like these videos and that you want more of them because I'm planning to continue making them as long as there's some interest. Um, so thanks for watching. Hopefully I've explained this to you in a completely, utterly, and totally confusing fashion, and you'll have to watch this video 16 times to get. That's my mission today. Um, if, again, leave comments, like, subscribe, show the love, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have fun flying.